Welcome to IBC 2024. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries right here in Amsterdam. So Jamie, day one of IBC, how's it going so far? Um, it's been incredibly busy. We're about four or five hours in. We haven't stopped, which is great. I think, uh, yeah, it's a good sign that the show is going to be a busy one. I really think so. There's a real buzz around here today, which is very exciting. Yeah. So talk to us about Ada Technology. How are you positioned in the broadcast and media industry? Yeah, so we're leaders in IPKVM, technology that allows users in the broadcast space, whether that be um, producers and editors in television programming, uh, radio, right through to animators in post-production to access their critical computers, the products and software that they need to do their jobs in fresh and unique ways. We allow them to switch, share, connect those infrastructures and access them remotely, which has obviously been a big topic for recent years. When it comes to trends in the marketplace, what are you seeing and what are you doing here in order to meet those trends? So one of the things that we're fantastic at is connecting enterprises with KVM. So some of the trends are about like new topics in security. How do we bolster security? How do we give access to management tools of these critical systems? Um, along with pushing the boundaries on resolutions and USB peripheral support, which is kind of the crux of KVM. We're also seeing the dynamics change because more people are trying to use IP in different ways. So here at the show, we're focused in two areas actually for, for new areas, which are small systems that want to leverage IP high quality technology, but in smaller deployments. And then also customers who are perhaps more geographically spread, who want to use IP KVM across a broader distance or, or broader WAN networks as well. So we've got some new technologies for both of those customers, as well as these enterprise systems that, that we do you know, readily day to day. And what are you showcasing here this year at IBC? Yeah, so we've got two brand new products on show. We've got Adaview Matrix. So this is a, a new product which brings some of the technologies that we've uh, really showcased in this enterprise market. We're bringing those technologies into customers who have smaller deployments. This is fantastic for areas like outside broadcast trucks, uh, small radio studios, and also virtual production studios that don't tend to have the same, uh, perhaps, scale that some of the big broadcast television studios require. Um, and then we've got ARDX, and this is a brand new technology that allows us to move um, KVM connectivity across a network but it's software based. So this allows new ways of connectivity, both in a LAN and WAN environment. Uh, some people for remote access, but mostly here in the market for people who really need dynamic access to computers from wherever they are in the building. And who is this for and what are the future use perspective cases? Yeah, so in this case, it's really broad. People you know, want to connect to computers. No, just not here in media and entertainment. We work in transport, uh, we work in energy market, government and military applications as well. But here already this morning, we're talking to big enterprise customers who have got multiple sites. They're looking for connectivity between those sites, maybe not just within the building. Um, we're also talking to people who deploy systems on site and maybe need to support them remotely. So even the system integrators themselves might want to be able to deploy uh, KVM technology and provide maybe an SLA to that customer to support them remotely there. Um, and with that, we're seeing obviously more flexibility in this, the whole market, uh, remote production becoming uh, you know, a real key thing and virtual production as well, where you may not always have the technical resources right there at hand. And so you need to have connectivity through different spaces, uh, allowing people who aren't on site to, to be available. And so ARDX really is allowed, leveraging that and allowing broadcasters to bring those people as close to the technology as they can remotely. And on that note, what does the future hold for Ada technology? Yeah. Um, I think, you know, all of those trends, there is a big melting pot of that. It's how that all comes together. Um, we know that in KVM, it's always going to be the new USB peripheral, the new resolution that needs to be supported. That's our constant chase, is that performance and perfection. But I think functionality-wise here, what we're seeing is people wanting to leverage corporate IT capabilities, so pushing forward the security standards that we're seeing into broadcast environments, uh, being able to be more flexible uh, with the way that their infrastructure is built, so building around that COTS IT approach, which KVM really fits well with. Um, and then last of all, really driving that creativity. How do we share? How do we uh, really ensure that the best talent 
has access to the computers they need and, and that's where the remote bit comes for us because it will allow um, companies to ultimately hire the right talent, the right people and get them to the computers that might not be where they live and where they want to work from and so ARDX leans towards that as well. Very exciting times for yes, you here at ADA. Have an amazing show, Jamie. Wishing you a yeah, fantastic couple of days. Yeah, thank you very much. Good to see you again.